What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. You guys already know what's going on. We're hopping back onto that ranked double ladder, but today we're using a nice Gothitelle and Iron Hand scene that also features a powerhouse combo of Palafin and Shen Pao. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support the channel by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed, come on. Get on top of that, click that big red subscribe button, and join the Jeans community. We have been pumping out some content for Scarlet and Violet pretty frequently now. And then on top of that, we got Breath of the Wild, not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom playthrough, and guides coming along the way. So again, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss out. But this team's looking pretty cool. Hopefully we get the rock out with it and make up for yesterday's losses, considering we had a losing day. So I'm looking to have a winning day today. And I think we can pull that out for you guys. First Pokemon on today's team is going to be the one and only Dolphin. We got Palafin, one of my favorite Gen 9 Pokemon, Zero to Hero as its ability, the Mystic Water as item, and then probably the best moveset for competitive doubles, Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Haze, and Protect. You really can't go wrong with it. Amoongus is in our second slot, great support Pokemon for doubles. It's great on its own considering it can Rage Powder and Spore, and then it is also really good in Trick Room. So we have a Trick Room Pokemon with Gothitelle. If I could set up Trick Room, Amoongus is just going to go before anybody and put everybody to sleep. Here's Regenerator, the Wiki Berry, Palmpuff, Spore, Protect, and Rage Powder for its four moves. Third Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands, and a lot of people have been building their Iron Hands like this. For like the Series 2, a lot of people were using it with Fake Out, but in Series 3, a lot of people have just been ditching Fake Out and giving it Sword Stance, which I really like, because if you can pull off the Sword Stance with the Iron Hands, he can really be a problem. You can start Drain Punching, get HP back, and KO in enemies at the same turn. He's got Cork Drive as his ability, the Safety Goggles as his item, the two moves like we already mentioned, Sword Stance and Drain Punch, and then his other two is going to be Protect and Wild Charge. Gothitelle is going to be in our fourth slot. I feel like Gothitelle pairs up with Iron Hands really well because A, we can set up Trick Room for Iron Hands and B, we can fake out and allow Iron Hands to get a Sword Stance up. So again, really do like Gothitelle. His other two moves consist of Psychic and Helping Hand and is rocking the Citrus Berry and Shadow Tag as its item and ability. Fluttermane is in our fifth slot. I'm not even going to say anything about it. We use Fluttermane way too much. It's there. If you want to see it, just look or head down in the description below for the Pokey Pace. We got Shen Pao for our final Pokemon on today's team. Another Pokemon that I'm not going to talk too much about. It's a pretty normal setup, but it's going to be able to pair up with the Palafin, make a Jet Punch do crazy damage. Again, a crazy strong combo. But guys, there's the team. If you want to rent it yourself, rent the code is at the top, top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to grab some wins with this Iron Hands and Gothitelle Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys, we're going up against a pretty heavy Trick Room team here. They got Gothitelle, or not Gothitelle, they got Hatterene and Indeedee alongside with Torkoal. Three top tier Trick Room Pokemon, going to be a problem. They also have the Brute Bonnet, the Great Tusk, and the Chiyu. So they're looking to set up Trick Room and then pair up a Pokemon like Hatterene or Torkoal with Chiyu. That is a problem for us. We might have to try to counter that. I think Iron Hands and Gothitelle is going to be a great lead for us, or do I really not want to do that? Maybe I don't want to do that. What is your terror type, Iron Hands? Can it be grass? It's fire. Actually, fire is perfect considering they have Torkoal. They're going to go Iron Hands turn one for sure. 100% got to go into this Pokemon. I think first turn priority is also going to be our friend. So I am going to go into Palafin and maybe just swap out. I'm going to go Palafin. And I think I have to bring Shen Pao again. First turn priority is going to be big time for us. And then in the back, actually, ooh. The terrain really does its dirty. Do you have Ice Spinner on you, by chance? You have to have Ice Spinner on you. You do, cool. So we can take out terrain like that. We have Focus Ash on that Pokemon. And then last but not least, I think we need a little bit of support. So Amoongus coming in here can be big time for us. We're gonna lock it in, we're gonna lock it down. We're gonna look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But what I think is gonna happen here is probably Indeedee and Hatterene come out here, right? Follow me, Trick Room, or they might just protect. They're just setting up a Trick Room. Right, it's got to be Hatterene and Indeedee, and that is exactly what it is. So from here, I'm going to set up a Sword Stance. I'm going to Terrasalize my Iron Hands, and I'm going to swap my Palafin into Shen Pao. Do I Shen Pao it up? I could Shen Pao it up. I do like Shen Pao. The reason is because I want to take out Terrains, or I could just go into Amoongus, which could also be very good for us, which might have to be my play. I kind of like that. So you know what? I'm going to Terrasalize. I am going to pop the Sword Stance. I'm just going to swap it to Amoongus. I'll save my Shen Pao. I will save my Shen Pao, baby. I will save it. Because, again, if we can waste out Trick Room, then my, both my Pokemon come in the back end. They get some work done. But if I can't, I might have to go into an Ice Spinner. And we can roll out from there. So 
So we'll see who they want to potentially go into here. The problem would be if they take out my Shen Pao and they still have terrain. Because again, first turn priority would be so big for us. So I would love to take out this terrain. So maybe I should just let the Shen Pao. Probably should be my play. Probably leading Shen Pao should be my play. But our opponent's thinking very long and hard on this play here. And we're just going to hard swap the Palafin. I highly doubt he doubles into my Iron Hands here. He might just attack us with like a Psychic or something like that. But I'm Terrasalize. They have two Pokemon that are super effective on me. The Terrasalizing is just going to be big for us. Especially going into Fire Terror. Because if I had to guess, they have Torkoal in the back end. So out comes my Terror type. Straight Fire, baby. Straight Fire. Which I haven't seen a lot of Iron Hands go Fire instead of Grass. And I think it works tremendously. Like it's super, super good up against the meta. But that's something that's going to fly here. That's fine. We soak very, very well. And this Hatterene's probably setting up a Trick Room, right? Probably setting up a Trick Room. Is that a correct statement? You do. So now they set up Trick Room. I can put Pokemon to sleep. I can put any of you guys to sleep. Whoever I want to. Whoever I want. And I feel like from here, we just Drain Punch down. I'd rather get rid of Hatterene. But I'm just going to take out Indeed here. I just don't want to deal with all that. And... I could Rage Powder. I could just Palm Puff and get some HP back. I mean, you're going to go first, though, which is a little bit of a problem. I'm going to try to support a Hatterene. If indeed he follows me, it follows me. It's not that big of a deal. But we can kind of just go from there. We can just go from there. I forget what item my uh, my Amoongus is holding. I really do forget. They're, they're going to end up Terrasalizing this turn. Into what typing? They're going to Terrasalize Indeedy into... Straight grass, which isn't a bad type. I mean, if you go for a follow me, we can't put you to sleep, but if you don't, then we get to put Hatterene to sleep. You do go for a follow me. Okay. So it gets to follow me off. We are going for a drain punch, which is pretty good. And this thing's just going to psychic down my Amoogus, which maybe you can eat. Probably not, right? Yeah, no shot. They end up not eating that up. And now we're sitting here. Now we're sitting here, and I'm kind of hoping that the Indeedy can soak this, which it does. So indeed he ends up soaking. Hmm. Now I can go into you and I really want to take out terrain, but at the same time, I don't want to get doubled down into. What do I want to do here? I still say we go in the Shen Pao here. Let's go Shen Pao. I think Iron Hands is slower, which is really good. So I can take out Terrain. I'm gonna, I, I should be able to take out Terrain. Okay, cool. So let's go here. Let's just Drain Punch. Actually, let's Wild Charge. This Wild Charge should be able to take out you, but... Actually, no. We're gonna Drain Punch. We're just gonna Drain Punch, get rid of the Indeedy. And I'm just gonna Ice Spinner across into the Hatterene slot. So Follow Me ends up coming out here. That's totally fine. I have the Focus Ash on my Shen Pao. Everything should work out fine here. And a Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly. So Dazzling Gleam pokes out here. It's gonna trigger our Focus Ash. We knew that was coming. Iron Hand soaks pretty well. Iron Hand's gonna go next. He's gonna take out Indeedy. Uh, Shen Pao is then going to deal some big time damage. Maybe take out the Hatterene, but on top of that, just get rid of that terrain. So my Pao fins in full effect, and my Shen Pao's here too. So while Trick Room turns are here, Iron Hand's gonna get some work done. Um, again, I, I kinda like where we're sitting. I kinda like where we're sitting. Now comes the Ice Spinner. See you later, Terrain. And Hatterene gone? Hatterene's not gone, but that's fine. So if I had to guess, Torkoal might come out here. And if Torkoal does decide to come out here, I might just... Protect Shen Pao and try to Drain Punch it, right? That could be our best play. But they're going to end up going into the Brute Bonnet. Well, which I could just Drain Punch and take that out. I'm not too worried about this Hatterene. I really am not. But Trick Room has two more turns. I'm just going to protect Shen Pao here. I don't have... Oh, I thought I had Sucker Punch on this thing. Which could have been big. Sucker Punch could have been big time for us. It really could have been. Sucker Punch could have been huge. I really did think we had that, but I guess we have Throw Chop. Which I don't mind Throw Chop. If I knew we had Throw Chop, I probably would have went into uh, Shen Pao turn 1. But honestly, I thought it was just a normal moveset. I legit thought it was Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, Sacred Sword. But Throw Chop works really well, and if I knew that, again, I would have went into uh, Shen Pao turn 1. Because I knew they were going Indeedy Hatterene right off the rip. We, we called that from a mile away. But we end up protecting the Shen Pao. He's going to end up Rage Powder, and I don't mind this too much. Because I'm just going to Drain Punch. I'm going to get all my HP back. And I'm going to take out the Brute Bonnet. I'm Sword Sands plus 2. We had a beautiful lead to this. Trick Room is almost gone, so we get off one more turn. 
and you're eventually going to die out to that life orb. That life orb is draining your health. And you're not doing like any damage to my Pokemon. So out goes the Brute Bunnet. If I had Sucker Punch, I would take out the Hatterene, no problem. And I might just protect here, because Hatterene is the slowest on the floor. He's going to go Chiyu. Nope, I'm going to punch up on that Chiyu. I'm going to put a big fist into that Chiyu's face. If not, I can jet punch it. I, I don't really mind where we're sitting. I really don't. So I'm just going to do that. And if you decide to stay in here, I mean, I guess we'll go for a throat chop. But maybe I should have just went for a double protect. Double protect probably would have been our best bet. Because we know this Hatterene's already going for Dazzling Gleams. So, yeah. Double protect should have been my play. But it's all good. I think we have this match on lock. With the Palafin still in the back end. Mwah. It's just, it's too easy. Come on, man. That's too easy. It's too easy. Psyche comes out here. Should have done that a while ago. It's gonna do a lot of damage. I'm gonna drain punch it to you. I'm gonna take it out. I'm gonna get back a ton of HP. And I can't believe you didn't take out my Shen Pao. Wow, you should have psyched me a while ago. That did a lot of damage. A bit too much damage. A lot more than I thought it would. But yeah, match is simply over. Absolutely crush it here in match number one. Obviously, Iron Hands was super, super clutch. Once they let us get off that Sword Dance, it was pretty much game over from there. On our way to battle number two with a 1-0 record. Hot start for us in match number one. Absolutely crushed it with Iron Hands there. And uh, yeah, we still had Palafin in the back end. So we could have just, we could have killed a whole nother team with this squad. We were ripping with them. But match number two on its way. They have no Legends of Ruin Pokemon, yet a pretty strong team. They got Hydreigon, who I haven't seen in a while. They also have uh, Golden Go, Tyranitar, Corviknight, Iron Moth, and Gyarados. So Intimidate little bit of a factor i kind of still want to go palafin just to lead this pokemon and swap it out so i really do like palafin i might also uh lead it with the uh, fluttermane go palafin fluttermane for the lead Dude, is that a good lead do we want to do that lead corviknight is a little scary i don't like it could be a problem but intimidate gyarados is also a problem that's why i would rather lead my special attackers huh i might just go iron hands here you might just go Iron Hands. If you decide to go into an Intimidate Gyarados, that's fine. We can Wild Charge you down. Uh, but we can kind of just go from there. And I will bring Fluttermate in the back end. I just don't think leading it is our best bet. Because we are super effective onto two of the Pokemon, but we're weak up against three. I still feel as Fluttermate is always good. Because being able to outspeed with Shadow Ball is really, really good. I mean, Golden Go is super effective onto us. But at the same time, we're super effective onto Golden Go with Shadow Ball. So... It's the best of both worlds. We, we each get a little bit of hit there. But uh, let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be Gary. It's not going to be Gary. So I don't mind this lead, actually. Palcon and Iron Hands comes out here. Um, T-Tar's here. Hydreigon's here. Um, a hard swap could be in play. Or I can just start attacking with Jet Punch, which would not be bad. But I am going to go into a hard swap of... Do I go Flutter here? If I can get out Flutter, that's big time. But... I might not be able to get out Flutter. If they go into a dark move there, that can really do me dirty. But I'm going to take the risk. We're going to do that. And I'm just going to Drain Punch. Who do I Drain Punch? Because <laughs> I'm ripping into one of these guys. I feel like if anyone's Terrastalizing, it is going to be you. So I might just Terrastalize my guy. And just dump on this thing. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm dumping on this thing. If anyone's Terrastalize, I feel like it would be T-Tar, right? I feel like it's gotta be T-Tar. Let's see how this one plays. He withdraws T-Tar. Are you Terrastalize the Hydreigon? Don't do it. Are you going into Gyarados here? That's gotta be Gary. It's gonna be Corvo. So Corvo comes in here. Uh, that's a, uh, that's a little scary. I'm Terrastalize and he's not. Okay. Okay, I feel ya. I see ya. I understand. Um... We might have to hard swap or Fluttermane. I don't really like Fluttermane up against this Corvo. I don't mind the T-Tar too much, but... The Corvo? Uh-uh. And I did make a bad call. But, okay, we'll eat that up all day. We'll eat that up all day. So we end up doing some mean damage there. Buffets might be able to take a Hydreigon. Unless well, it's goggled. It's not. See you later. Cool. So we pick up the KO there. We do outspeed most. If Fluttermane's able to eat that, I was scared of that coming into that slot. I was really scared of the dark move, but we're able to soak. So now he's going to end up going into T-Tar. And uh, T-Tar is probably going to Terror, right? I think I can predict the Terror here. 
And honestly, hmm, honestly, I could. I could just predict the terror. I could just wild charge the Corvo down. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna wild charge Corvo down. Corvo is more of a threat, and he ends up not terroring. I was gonna predict the terror. Good thing I didn't. But I could just dumped on Titar. Titar's going for a Stone Edge, and I dodged it. That's big time. That's big time. That's big time. So we get off a free wild charge this turn. Get off a free wild charge. I guess I'll moonblast it then. So I get off some nice damage into that slot. Um, Rocky Helmet's gonna tear me up a little bit. He's probably looking to go for another Stone Edge, but from here I might just. I think I'm just gonna moonblast down that slot and protect. Right? Send the moonblast his way. Protect the Iron Hands. Cause if you don't Terrasalize, you're taking some crazy damage. I'm actually super surprised you didn't Terrasalize there. Really weird, right? Very odd. With Fluttermane and Iron Hands on the field, it just makes no sense. And he's not going to do it again. Maybe he just have a bad Terra. So we protect. Moonblast flies. Probably KOs, right? No, it doesn't. This thing's pretty bulking up. We get a special attack drop. Put him low. Fluttermane's going to go down to Iron Head. To Iron, yeah, Iron Head. And then Stone Edge, we block. Okay. I don't think that's terrible. We still have Palfin. We still got Pally, and you're going to end up roosting. So you just give me another turn. I'm fine with that. I am totally fine with that. You just give me another turn. You just give me another turn. So I'm just going to go Moonblast. And I'm just going to go Wild Charge again. Get off as much damage as I can. He does not protect the t -tar. What's her? I don't know what her opponent's doing. I'm really confused. You could be Choice Banned. That is an option. That is an option that you could be Choice Banned. But I don't I don't know. The, the Terror is really throwing me off. Ends up going for an Iron Defense. Leaving my Fluttermane out here for a couple turns. Iron Defense is kind of scary, but I do have Haze Palf in the back end, which is good. So we end up Wild Charging. Um, I'm going to take some Rocky Helmet damage. I think we just focus on whoever comes out here on the right side, right? Because we can eat up another Buffet if they want to double protect, but whoever comes out on the right side, I think we have to dial into. It's going to be Iron Moth. So the Moth comes out here, and I'm just going to Shadow Ball you, and on top of that... I think I'll just, I'm just doubling down. Because, again, I can always haze this uh, Iron Defense Corvo. So I'm going to start trying to deal as much damage as I possibly can. Life Orb is going to take us out. I'm hoping Iron Hands can get off one turn. Just one simple turn here. Sludge Wave comes through here. Doesn't affect Corvo. It is going to chip me up a little bit. And can you eat up whatever Corvo has to? You're just going to roost. I, I, I don't mind that. Wild Charge flying. We KO, and that's going to be game. That's going to be game. That is going to be the ball game. Once again, I just haze and kind of just take out this Corvo. I'm not too worried about it. So now from here, Sandstorm's gone. I bring out my lovely Palafin. It's a, it's a 3v. It's a 3v1. I don't really know what our opponent was doing this match. I feel like they made a lot of bad calls. Especially being this high in the mass tier. I think our opponent was like top 2,000. I just don't understand. But from here, I haze. I take all that off. And I'm just going to go into wild charge. If Iron Hands goes down, then we just bring out Shen Pao. But finally, they terrestrialize, which is just blowing my mind. It's blowing my mind that it took them this long to terrestrialize. It's going to be Dragon type. I have Shen Pao Ice. We, this is this is, this is is cake. We got this. We got this. So we go into a haze, and our opponent's probably like, oh god, no, please. They were, they were hoping that defensive boost Corvo can just, like, roll out here. And they go into another iron defense. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care. I'm just going to keep hazing you. I'm just going to keep hazing you until what's called comes out here. Until my Shen Pao comes out here. And here we go. We get Shen Pao out. And now it is perfect. Probably not to rationalize into Dragon was... Would have been better off, but yeah, we can just take off this defense boost and kind of go from there. Shen Pao is going to go first, though, which kind of stinks. But it's fine. So he's going to pop here. We're just going to throw an Ice Spinner in the slot. And let's see how much damage it does while this Pokemon's plus two. So does a decent chunk. Rocky Helmet's doing me dirty. You can actually hold up. This match, we might lose this match. Did we just lose this match? I just dogged on our opponent for so long. We're going to lose this match. 
No way! <laughs> Are we going to I think we lose this match. Go for a hitting move. Hit me, please. Don't don't roost. We lost. <laughs> we just lost this match. <laughs> what is going on here? That's wild. That is wild that we just lost this. It's blew my mind. I thought we had this one lock up until I seen the uh, the Shen Pao get hit by that Rocky helmet. He could just roost me and win this match, no problem. Yeah. Round of applause to our opponent. I was dogging on it the whole time. I was like, what is our opponent doing? And it worked. That is wild. Oh my lord, yo. <laughs> right? Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys were like, what is our opponent doing? And it worked out. That blows my mind, but yo, GG. Game recognizes game. We're going to run this match. One and one for today's video. Huge round of applause to our opponent match number two. That last match was wild. I thought I played pretty good. I did not think I played bad, but our opponent just pulled out that Corviknight. That crazy Corviknight clutch. Round of applause for opponent. I take back everything I said bad. Everything I said bad, I take it back. I take it back. Again, round of applause to the opponent there. But third and final match, let's put that one behind us. Going up against Ting Lu and Annihilate team with Fluttermane, Arcanine, Amoongus, and last but not least, Glemora. Lee Mora. Um, hmm. I'm kind of scared of the Arcanine. Intimidates a little bit of a problem. Tad bit of a problem. We don't we don't like the Intimidates. We really don't. Um, I could set up a Trick Room. I mean, Trick Room would not be bad. Uh, but their team's looking pretty strong here, right? Looking real strong. I'm going to lead Palfin. I feel like Palfin's going to be big time for us. I am also going to lead Gothitelle. I like the Fake Out Turn 1. I just like having a Special Attacker there as well. I could set up a Trick Room and then bring out Iron Hands, which could be great. I think that might be my play. Hmm. Or I can go Trick Room Swords Dance turn one and see how that works out for us. But at that point, they could burn me. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to set up a Trick Room and then go into my first turn priority Pokemon. That is going to be my play. That is going to be my lead. Let's try to grab ourselves a winning record. Man, I wish we would have won that last one because then the pressure wouldn't be on me for match number three. But hey, it happens. It happens. Don't act like it doesn't happen to you guys. Where you think you won a match and you lose it, it happens. It happens to all of us, even even your boy jeans. But this combo comes out here. I kind of thought this was gonna come out here. That's why I didn't want to lead Iron Hands. And Intimidate's gonna come out here. And from here, Arcanine might just protect. But I'm just gonna hard swap Arky. And I'm just gonna trick him up. I'm just gonna trick him up. So I think Arcanine protects you, right? Most likely, probably. It's a possibility. They can't swap. I can swap. They can't. So I'm just going to go into Iron Hands. Iron Hands and have my big boy pal from Hero form in the back. Like, I'm terrified right now. To be honest, Annihilate's a problem. It's always always been a problem. Seems like it always will be a problem. But now I'm bringing out the Iron Hands. Flare Blitz is going to fly. Are you doubling down into this Pokemon? Kind of hurts the soul if you are. I think you are. I think you are. Unless you're bulking up. Maybe we can eat up these shots. Let's see. So we have the Citrus Berry, which brings us back up about 40 HP. And he's going to go for the bulk. Okay, so I don't mind that too much. Considering I get off this Trick Room, I can set up a Swords Dance next turn if I really want to. I'm kind of leaning towards it. I'm just scared of the will o -Wisp, which makes me kind of want to Terrasalize here, right? It definitely makes me want to Terrasalize. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to Swords Dance. And I'm just going to go into the Psychic here. It's Defense Boost, not Special Defense, so... This can be good. They can't swap. And I really do feel as the uh, Arcanine probably goes for a burn onto my Iron Hands. We'll see what they want to do. But I'm really hoping I can I can uh, connect with this Psychic without their them terrestrializing. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. So Iron Hands, you get in the Terra yet again. I love its Terra type. I really do. And straight Fire Terra, which is really solid up against these guys. It's not bad. It's not terrible. And Swords Dance comes out here. So we get off that plus two. We're hoping that the, they're going for a will o -Wisp just so they can't burn me. Psychic is able to fly here. Should chunk up some nice damage. Awesome. Wish I would have did about half, but Rage Fist is also going to fly here. 
Rage Fist is a little scary, but I can deal with it. And a wild charge. That's weird. We should be able to soak that though. That's weird that he went for wild charge over, over that. But from here, I just think I keep psychicking down the, uh, the annihilate slot, and maybe we just go for a drain punch for HP here. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm sword dance now. Let's psychic up. He might even protect the annihilate. But yeah, while these trick and turns are here, I'm just gonna keep throwing my iron hands at him. Because after trick commands, I have two very strong back end Pokemon. Pal, Finn, and Shen Pao, which I really like. I do adore. I do adore. They can't swap, and he's gonna end up protecting the Annihilate, which is totally fine. Totally fine. Drain Punch gonna fly. Probably KO, right? Yeah, and we get back a ton of HP. So HP is here. I'm still worried about Annihilate. It's always a problem. I might double down. I might double down into Annihilate this turn. Wild Charge and Psychic. I think we have to get rid of it. I think now's the turn to get rid of it. That now that it doesn't have a protect, I think we target it down. Because he can't swap either. We're shadow tagged out. So going after him might have to be my play. It might just have to be my play. I have Swords Dance on him and Psychic Super Effective. I think I target it down. Kind of depends who they bring out here, but that's what I'm leaning towards. That's 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 what I'm leaning towards for my next play. It's a Flutter... Mm, problem Pokemon. I mean, we're Fire Terror, which is really solid. I still feel as we double down into you. I still feel as we double down into this Pokemon. 100% I feel as. I feel that has to be your play. Because I can always bring out a uh, Palafin to Jet Punch into Flutter Mean. And good call from us. I was about to say, while I was drinking water, I was thinking the Flutter Mean could also protect. Which it does. So a double down was perfect here. Wild Charge comes out here. Brings it brings it low enough for my Psychic to finish this Pokemon off. Let's go. That's hot. That's a hot turn. That's a hot turn, baby. We're not losing this one. I'm not losing this one. Got to tell an Iron Hands really rip it up. They get things going. They just fuel the team. They fuel the teams. So now we still have, I think, like one more turn left in Trick Room. And this is where I feel as we double down into Flutter Main because Flutter Main can't protect anymore. I mean, it can, but chances are it's not going to be able to land it. So I'm just going to Wild Charge into it. And I'm just going to Psychic. I'm gonna double down into it. So I'm not worried about Glamora. I got, I got absolute dogs in the back end to finish that, this match up. Not worried about it. They don't have a Corviknight to, to come back on us here. <laughs> so we should be fine. We should be fine. We still have all four of our Pokemon. All four of them. Not one, not two, not three, but all four of them. Loving it. Come on, man. That's too easy. <laughs> this is too easy. It's too easy. Hopefully it's too easy. Last one I jinxed. I think I said it was too easy in the last one too. The Wild Charge flying through here. Putting you on one, bringing out that focus ash, but Gothel's gonna finish you off. Again, we're doubling down into you. We're doubling down. It's like flying. And that's what's so good. Shadow Tag is also so, so good. Like, they cannot swap, they cannot do anything except for attack me. And now that Trick Room is out here, it's just, am it's just amazing. The Power Gem flies. Power Gem does take me out, but I'm not worried. You think I'm worried? Does this face look like I'm worried? I ain't worried. That's too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> Mordecai and Rigby it. Whoa! You guys are, if you guys are fans of regular show, you guys know the O by Mordecai and Rigby. It's like the best thing ever. And if you don't know regular show, you guys gotta get on that. Mordecai and Rigby are dogs. One of the best cartoon combos ever. I'll say it ever. But from here, I'm just gonna jet punch. Should be able to finish off the game. Psychic can also probably finish this thing off. And the battle's canceled. Two and one. Awesome set of battles. We grab ourselves a winning record. The team that we used today was absolutely amazing. The Gothitelle and Iron Hands combo might be the strongest Iron Hands combo in the game. That was absolutely amazing. Very easy to use too. You can fake out, set up Sword Dance, or you can just go for a Trick Room. A lot of Pokemon are going to protect when you lead both those Pokemon, considering they both pose a fake out uh, turn. So a lot of teams think you're going to fake out. They protect, they try doing something, making a read. And now nah, you're simply setting up Trick Room and getting off a free Sword Dance. So it's pretty much free. It is pretty much free. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.